Oh, Jesus. Calgary scored again. <laughs> We're cheering for the Oilers. I'm sorry to all the Calgary fans out there. <sighs> all right. Well, this week, we have a busy week in store, and you're going to see all of the bits and pieces. We had dog training going on. Boat ride. Boat ride. We had a bachelorette that I got away for the weekend, Sam's kid and Sam's husband. We had That hiking. means without in French. <laughs> Thank you for that explanation. Uh, and we had hiking. You went hiking. Yeah. We had a big door delivery that we did down in Esquimalt, which is um, a little community just outside of Victoria on the southern tip of Vancouver Island. And your parents, Lucky Ducks, we're on a very well-deserved cruise. They went up to Alaska by cruise from Vancouver. Um, so this week we're gonna show you clips and bits and pieces from our life in the past week. It's been busy and we hope that you enjoy watching. Enjoy. We're the Gears family. We own and operate Fenster Windows and Doors on Vancouver Island, BC, Canada. We're a collection of four kids, two parents, one daughter-in-law, four dogs, and one very spunky two-year-old. Follow along with our family while we make some of the most beautiful and energy efficient windows and doors in Canada. If you like what you watch, make sure to subscribe. Today we're heading dog training. Uh, we actually head to a local farm where we take all our dogs, we pack up all the equipment, and we drive about 15 minutes down the road to this 60 acre piece of property. And Brayden will actually talk you through what he does when it comes to training our dog. So our three dogs are golden retrievers. Uh, the type of golden retriever they are is commonly known as a field golden. So they're bred for working. They're bred to have a high prey drive and they're bred to be athletic. This is a little bit different from the typical golden retrievers you might imagine in your head when you hear the breed, uh, which are, you know, the larger dogs with golden, long, fluffy hair, and they also shed a lot, uh, which is unlike these dogs, which are more athletic, shorter hair, and they don't shed quite as bad as a regular golden retriever. So we train our dogs for uh, field work, and we specifically do what are called hunt tests and field trials. The idea of these events is you're mimicking a bird hunting scenario where the dog is both watching birds fall down in a field as well as having to find birds that are hidden that it didn't see fall down in the field and as the trainer or the handler, we're using whistles and hand signals to direct the dog to where it has to go to find the bird. Are you tired, old lady? You wanna go? You wanna go? Ready? Good girl. Good job. 
Both trials and hunt tests are composed of two main parts. There's watching birds fall down, which is called marking, and then there's finding birds that are hidden, which is called running a blind. So when we go training, we want to work in some exercises to practice both marking and running blinds, because those are the two types of things we see in events and in competitions. So when we're throwing marks or throwing birds in the field, you can see here there's my friend Taylor who also works at Fenster Windows and Doors that came out to give us a hand for the day. So he's throwing bumpers for us. And a bumper is simply, uh, you know, it looks like a plastic dog toy um, that's mimicking the size and the shape of a bird. So the dog has to pay attention to where the bird is being thrown and memorize where it's landed so it can take a straight line to that bird. Now it might seem really simple, but when you start putting factors in like multiple marks being thrown at a time in the field, and hills and ditches and ponds and trees or tall grass, it actually gets quite hard and complicated for the dog to remember where everything is. And this is what we're working on today. Meanwhile, Tom and Leo are on their first post-COVID vacation ever. Uh, they were on a cruise from Vancouver to Alaska and left the shop to the devices of both of the boys. So today we're uh, getting ready to head down to Victoria and deliver a couple of lift and slide doors and a front door for a new home that's being built, um, oceanfront and Esquimalt. Uh, the glass finally arrived for these doors. It was pretty delayed coming in. Um, we had it shipped in from overseas and it sat. The boat arrived on time, but then it sat in Vancouver in the port there for about three weeks before it could get offloaded. Uh, which kind of threw our wrench in our plans and our scheduling a little bit, but nevertheless, we had the doors built and they were ready and waiting for the glass. So the glass arrived, and the next day we got the glass, the uh, doors all finished up. Um, so we got them loaded up onto uh, the flat deck trailer, and we're going to take them down to Victoria today and get them delivered. And um, it took a little bit of uh, coordination because they're going on the ocean side of the house which of course is opposite side of where the road is. Uh, there's no access to get around the back, so we're having a crane meet us on site. I'm just gonna sling the doors up and over. Uh, we'll drop them on the deck. Uh, there's an overhang and there's an there's a upper floor deck as well. So we're gonna drop them on the deck on the floor they're going into, and then um, use some muscles and a lot of people to move them into the openings, and then the builder on this job is going to be installing the doors, but we're going to come back uh, in a week or so and just give them an inspection and make sure that they were installed well and if they had any questions or difficulties with the installation, then they're going to let us know so we can come down and sort things out and make sure they're working right. It's really important with lift and slides that the opening they're being installed to is very, very level. Um, you know, we, we tell guys aim for a 30 second of accuracy and they got to be level you know left and right and in and out um, it's important that the opening is level because a it makes the installation a lot easier and faster which of course is going to be cheaper and b it's going to make the door work a lot better which means you know, these, these very nice doors, these very expensive, these very big and heavy doors, it means if they're installed and if they're working better, people are going to like them. So if they're not installed properly, if they're not adjusted properly, um, the door's not going to work the way it's supposed to, and you're not going to have, you know, the fit and the feel and the function and purpose of a nice expensive door. Um, you know, we don't want people going, you know, why did I spend all this money on this door and it's hard to open and close it. Um, it, it it's all to do with the on-site conditions and, and 
how well it's been installed and how level it is. You don't want to be fighting bumps or having to push the door uphill or anything like that. Uh, so it's always nice to make sure they're installed properly. Um, you know, the first time installing one of these doors, there's a, there's a bit of a learning curve. Not that it's hard, it's just a learning curve. Um, so once you get the first one out of the way, the second one takes half the time and so on and so forth. And the nice thing with us is we've installed hundreds of them. So we really know the tricks inside and out. We know the doors inside and out. And we know what to do to fix a problem. And we know where to look. And we know what screws to turn. And we can troubleshoot. Um, so we always tell our customers if they have any problems at all, give us a shout. We'll stop by. Or we'll jump on FaceTime and we'll take a look together with you because we don't want you scratching your head and fighting an installation or fighting uh, some adjustments and spending a lot of time on it when it's probably something that we'll know immediately upon hearing what's happening, what's going on and what needs to be adjusted. That could usually be sorted out pretty quickly. Uh, you know, I, I can't say how many times I've gone to a job site where you know people have been complaining about you know, a window's not closing or locking or a door's not sliding and literally and within you know 30 seconds of having my hands on that window or door you know turn a screw or two and the problem's gone and, you know, so anyways it's tricks on the trade we're in the trade we know the tricks and uh we're happy to share our knowledge and share those tricks with you thanks for watching During the time we were offloading the doors from the delivery trailer, which took a couple of hours, some other trades had pulled into the narrow alley that we were parked on, in addition to the crane itself, so rather than fighting to get the whole truck and trailer turned around and back onto the street, we took the crane operator up on his offer just to lift up the trailer and throw it on the street for us, so there was no saying no to that, and we were able to get out quickly and safely without any fender benders. Who's in the boat? Hi, do you see the plane? Where's the plane? There's a plane. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hi, plane. Really, are you helping Daddy fix something? Fix, fix. Fix, fix. Hi, Dada. Hi, dog dogs. What do you want? Hmm? What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? Hmm? You're crazy. Sit. Good boy. Sit. Sit. You're being bad. Sit. Good dog. Okay. this weekend baby free has been free carefree off to celebrate the wedding upcoming wedding of one of my good friends Heather um, we're going out to Souk and it's a total surprise for us so we're going out to Souk 
Um, but first we're gonna meet up at Seasider in Sydney, do a little cider tasting. We're gonna go to a lavender farm called Bilston Creek. Um, and we're gonna have great food, spend some time on beaches, go for hikes, go for a kayak, um, and just do a ton of really fun stuff and chill out on the west coast of Vancouver Island. So really looking forward to it. And we'll show you some little clips of bits of that weekend. Meanwhile, back in the couch and valley, Braden and Willie are getting up to lots of fun. Hi, Willie. Hi, Willie. What is that, Willie? Say hello. We needed something to do on a Sunday afternoon, so why not go for a hike? The only problem is the babies have gained about 20 pounds since last year, and this is the first hike of this year. Usually go two or three times a week, getting in shape for uh, hiking some mountains in the summertime. A little, uh, annual trip with some friends this is the start of getting in shape on top of running but whew, a little heavier than i was expecting <laughs> we're sitting here watching the hockey game i'm editing videos and what is this weirdo doing fixing myself <laughs> Machine, I'm <laughs> what do you have to say for yourself? Feels good. <laughs> oh my god. Why work out where you can just strap a machine on? Oh. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed watching this week's video. It was a pretty crazy week here in the Gears family and at Fenster with everything going on around the shop. Uh, stay tuned and subscribe and you'll see next week's adventures. Yeah, and thanks to everyone who's subscribed already and everyone that's liked each video. We appreciate every single like, every single comment. Let us know, again, let us know what you liked, what you didn't like. Oh, handy girl. Yeah. And hopefully next week we'll have less dog interruptions. <laughs>